to have you here. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Michaela Martinson, and I am the content marketing manager here at Get the Referral, and I am super excited that you joined us today. Today, we're going to share the top three proven success strategies for GTR customers. These are tried and tested strategies that have been shown to provide tremendous results. So by the end of this webinar, you'll have a much better understanding of the power behind our platform and the ways in which some of our most successful customers are using it to generate more referrals and sales for their businesses. So first of all, shout out to some of our most successful customers that we are going to be highlighting today. We've got three of them here today that we are um, sharing some clips of. We have MHI Roofing, Zuna Solar, and Evergreen Roofing and Solar. Um, we're, we're sharing some clips from the interviews that we had with each of them about their success with GTR. So we remain grateful to them for sharing their time and their insight with us. Now, before we get started, I have a question for all of you who are here with us today. I'm going to take care of a few housekeeping items really quick, but while I do that, I want to know what questions you have for us. I wanna know what your burning questions are for GTR. And now we always welcome questions and comments during our webinars, but this time I really want to know what questions you have because we are always trying to improve our webinars and we have some things in the works that I wanna make sure we are addressing all of your needs and all of your questions. And we wanna to get to as many questions as we can today. And here's the deal. I promise you that if we don't get to all your questions today, that I will make sure I respond to them personally via email, try to find the answer for you. So drop them in the chat box, please. Let us know what questions you have. We've saved some time at the end of the webinar to answer them. But again, if we don't answer them all today, we will get those answers to you. So we've also got some uh, free downloadable GTR success resources for you today. So you want to stay till the end because we're going to be sharing the link for you to get those. It's going to be awesome. We've got such great stuff for you today. And yes, for those who are wondering, yes, we are recording this. So you will have access to the recording tomorrow. It will be emailed to you directly and you can watch and share it as many times as you want. All right. Now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, I am so excited to get started. As I said, I am Michaela, and I have with me here today my friend and fellow GTR team member. We've had her with us a few times before. She is our marketing operations manager and GTR referral champion, Barbara Dominguez. Welcome back, Barbara. Good morning, everybody. I am so glad and excited to be here. I just love talking about success stories, and I was um, happy to be part of all of these interviews and talk directly with those customers and talk to, with the CS team as well and really learn from them. And I am so excited to share that with you guys. So am I. So, Barbara, you have been with GTR for over four years now. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, perfect. That's what I thought. I want to know, I know you said you're excited about the webinar and why, but this one is special, I think, because in the past we have had partners on and we have some amazing partners that have such value to share. But this one is all about GTR. Do you agree? Yes. And this is like, as you said, this is success proven. Like we talk to real people. It's not us talking about our product. It's like real case scenarios of our customers having success with the tool and using some specific strategies that might be like new to you. So this is exciting. Like it's not just us talking about us. It's like real people talking about their success, which I love. I love that too. All right, let's dive in, shall we? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Okay, everybody, we are going to dive into the top three proven success strategies for GTR customers. And our very first one is to focus on customer experience first. This one is number one for a reason. People refer businesses that they're happy with. So it all starts with your company providing quality products and services to your customers. 
we have so many amazing customers, like I've already said. So this one might seem obvious, but it is crucial. Now, HubSpot defines customer experience as the customer's overall sentiment of every interaction that they have with your company. And I love this definition because it's important to distinguish the overall experience a customer has versus what we think of as help or support that we get from customer service. So a quality customer experience creates customer satisfaction, which then instills loyalty, which then hopefully leads to referrals. And we're going to get into exactly how GTR helps you do that in just a few minutes. But first, I'm going to share a clip of an interview from one of our very successful customers. Oh, that's not the one I want. Hold on. Forgive me here. I'm doing mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> All right. We've got uh, our, one of our very successful customers, Jonathan Broach from MHI Roofing. Barbara asks him how his company uses their company's mobile app from GTR, and he shares some pure gold. Let's take a look. I love your business model. Uh, I remember uh, last time we spoke the way that you work the branded app with your team. So yes. let's just talk us through a little bit about how you you use the branded app to your sales team advantage. Yeah, so there's a lot of things in there. So, so the main concern that I had was, will the customers actually use it, right? So when we worked with your team on developing things like integrating in company cam photos, bringing in documents, um, making it a customer retention tool. So we started using it on the front end. So now with our customers, you know, when we walk in, hey, have you downloaded the MHI app yet? And then the customers will download it, the sales guys go, will go through all that fun stuff with them and show them how it works. Not, oh, and by the way, you can make money by referring us once you're happy with your project. So that's, that's where we implement and start is we start on the very, very beginning of it and give them a reason to be in the app other than, hey, just, you know, give us a referral and, you know, we'll pay you money. Um, that was really kind of the start. I mean, that's really, that, that's the way to integrate it into the system to, to get the buy-in from the sales team and the, and the homeowner. And um, how do the sales reps see this? Like they really enjoy having also something to show to a homeowner when they're closing a deal and a way to interact with the homeowners? Yeah, so the sales rep likes it because it's now a custom branded app, right? It's, it's they have that that pride to say, hey, we have our own app, um, you know, where, where you can get all your documents, all, all this stuff there. So they, they've really kind of, they're well, they're the all stars, right? We just did the the back end work trying to figure it out and give them a good story to go tell. But they've been the all stars with it. My 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 e team, the team that the the team that Ty had whenever I got here and the stuff that we've added to it has just been phenomenal. These guys grab it, run with it, go. Um, and our adoption rate um, started out fantastic, like with 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 homeowners. Then it kind of flatlined, and then we worked out some other things and figured it out. And now we're back up to where we we wanted to, you know. So about 50 to 60% of our customers will actually download the app. I thought it'd be 100%, right? Everybody wants to download the app. But when you look at adoption, you're like, okay, so there's actually some people that um, that that don't want to download another app on their phone. And then that was some of the feedback. But generally, most people do it because they can follow their whole their whole experience, right? So part of, well, part of that was the picture that's in there, but they got a project stage. So as it goes from one stage to, to the next, it gives them a notification, hey, your job, you know, the permit is approved, right? And you're in the scheduling queue or whatever it is that you want to put in there. So the adoption has been really good. Once a homeowner has the app, they're they're fanatic about it, right? They love it. So that's the main thing. Wow. I love that clip. Every time I watch it, I get more and more excited. Now, there's so much great information there, but I want to make note of a key takeaway from what John shared with us have the customers download your app early on the first appointment if you can like john said so they can have the benefit from the full customer experience so important barbara what else would you like to add yeah um so the app it's it's just like a portal where the magic starts you know um it it, it doesn't matter if you have an amazing app if you don't provide good service 
But if also like it's very hard for people to see your service and all the effort that you're doing if you don't have a portal, if you don't have a way to communicate with them. So the app just um, opens the gate and let the magic start. I love to say that. So it's very important that you have them downloading very, very early on in the process. And John said, you might not have everybody downloading the app. It's fine. It's hard to get 100% adoption. As long as you get 70, 80% adoption, those people are going to see value in the app because you're going to be communicating with them. You're going to be delivering a quality um, service. You're going to make them happy. You're going to make them updated. You're going to make them updated about their project. And then when you have a happy customer, this is like, this is the power of the referral. They're going to refer you like long-term after the sale. And as he said, you can use this as a retention tool. So what he does, for example, uh, not him, but he mentioned like, if you have a new product that you're now selling, Send a new push notification to your customers that are now your advocates saying, now we have this, now we are launching this. Or if you need to do a repair in your roofing, we're ready for it. So you can take advantage of your current customers to upsell, do more sales with them, as well as having referrals. And the ways to do it, the, 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 the features that most of our customers use to get this customer, this full customer experience is definitely project stages to keep them updated about. And this is one of the reasons why you can ask them to download the app. It's so no brainer. Like we're going to start your project today. You want to have updates about it, right? So download the app. I'm going to send you push notifications when inspection is completed. Inspection is started, completed. Installation is started, completed. If you have integration with other tools to send them pictures about it, like that's what we want. If you order something and on Amazon, what do you want to see? You want to see the tracking code. You're going to see like when you're going to get the package. You want to have it trackable and project stages use that. Documents is very powerful. It's underused. We, we hear our customer success manager saying it's an underused feature. Put it out there, the contract, the warranty, um, information about your project. You can do like specific documents to individuals, or you can do like documents that you can post to every, um, every advocate. So use it wisely. Like this is another reason for them to go get back to the app. Like you can put the bills in there if you want in app messaging. If you want to talk to you, if you want to talk, if they want to talk to you instead of like, call me or get my business card, obviously you're going to do this, but if they have the app there, then they know they're going to get to the app. It's your branding. They're going to message and someone is going to reply from your company. So very powerful. And obviously we love push notifications. It's one of our favorite uh, features internally, just because people are more likely to read push notifications than any other um, source, like emails or even like get a phone call. So use push notifications. We just enhance this tool with scheduling. So you don't have to necessarily do it on time. You can schedule that for like holidays or specific milestones that you want to communicate. These are all things that are going to enhance so much your customer experience together with your service. It's like you're going to really stand out you're, and you're going to nurture your customer base for them to beca become your referral base. I agree 100 percent. Everything you said. And I do want to touch on the adoption rate, what you mentioned, that, that not everyone might download the app. And I want to mention it because uh, I think it's important what you said about telling them why they should download the app. Just don't say, well, we have an app, download it. Explain to them what you just said. You get the entire customer experience when you download the app. We can update you automatically on your project stages. If you integrate with Company Cam, we can attach pictures so you can see what's happening on your roof as we're up there. There's so many different pieces, all of your documents in one place. You can reach out to us, click away, Let, help them understand the value of that app and ask them to enable push notifications. Some yes. people don't enable them, right? They don't know why they should tell them. We want to reach out to you. We want to keep you updated. That's how you're going to get updated on your project stages is enabling push notifications. Tell them why. Tell me you're not going to bug them. You just want to stay in contact with them and help them to know what's happening with their project and keep them happy. Yes. So. And you go from a mindset of like, oh, download the app so you can refer me and I'll pay you. 
which is like very straightforward, like very almost kind of like rude to like, this is why you should download the app. You're going to have updates about your projects. You're going to have your bills there. Your contract is there. Um, I'm going to send you push notifications when your project is progressing. And then at the end of it, they're going to be so used to the app that referring is just going to be like organic. You don't have to really push for a referral. You know, obviously you need to, but it's going to be like so seamless that, it, you know. Yeah, 100%. All right, moving on to our next success strategy. That one is to promote your referral program and make sharing it easy. So this part goes to a little bit what we just talked about. You want to incorporate your referral program, and that part of that is your app, right, into all parts of your business. Make it a part of your company culture. This means add your information about your referral program to your business cards, your email signatures, social media, signs, uh, signage in your stores if you have a walk-in location, flyers, everything that has to do with getting the word out, even having your team share it by word of mouth. Now, I'm going to share another video clip that has some really, really, really cool insight on how this works. This is one of our successful um, solar customers, Dallin Andrus from Zuna Solar. Barbara asked him how his company uses their app. And their process is so incredibly smart. This is probably the one clip I'm most excited about. Watch this. Like our, the big thing that we do that we're implementing with, with GTR is for every, well, first and foremost is we install, when we meet with the customer and sign them up for solar, we have them download and register the app right then and there at the point of sale. Um, and then um, we basically at time of install, um, after install, we fly a drone video over every house um, for their solar install and put together a nice little marketing video for them um, and upload it into the app in a special way. Um, and then um, we come back after their drone video is done, typically about when their system is turned on. Um, and then we'll come back and we do what's called, you know, the Zuna app visit and we help them connect their monitoring, um, show them again how to enter referrals show them we upload like their installation agreement into their documents tab so they have it readily accessible for when they do their taxes um, and kind of come at it as far as like a customer service standpoint um, just to make sure like they've never turned on a solar system they've never had solar they've never monitored solar so it's kind of like we help them do it um, and then at the end of that appointment we're kind of like cool so we want to help you get referrals and we've put together this drone video here, check it out. And we, we show them their drone video. And then we say, you know, hey, we want to help you kind of cast your net, you know, as far as you can in your community. So let's post your drone video and your referral link on your Facebook page, on your community Facebook page and things like that. And so we have them do that. And then we also collect, you know, a review from them uh, within Google, BBB and Facebook. Um, and so, um, we have a, a good amount of customers we still need to go to because it's kind of been a backlog of trying to get back to all these customers um, and then just staying on top of it with new, with new customers. So it, uh, it been good. I think it's what he wanted to say. I'm not sure why we got cut there, but <laughs> uh, that was some really interesting stuff. So providing photos and videos of your customer's completed project or drone footage, uh, if you are able to do something cool like that, giving that to your customers and encouraging them to share it on social media with their referral link is genius. I mean, using drone footage and having that app visit after the project completion is, is key, I think. And those are some super amazing ideas. And I think that they're obviously going to work for you because they're working for Zuna Solar. Barbara, what did you want to add to this? Yeah, so if you watch those uh, testimonials, and we have that in others as well, you start seeing a pattern of things that really work. So first of all, make the sales team feel that they are rock stars, that they have the power of 
turning the customers into advocates. So same thing with AMHI. They're very vetted to the program. They are trained and they know what to do when they are on the sale at the, the moment of the sale. Same thing with Zona, Zuna Solar. They make people download when they close the deal. They give reasons why. Um, things that they do a little bit different that are also very successful, they make their sales rep go back to a second section when the project is done to do some additional training. I love that. Like if you if you have your first solar panel system, you don't know how to monitor. monitor. And it might be very like stressful to get that uh, in the platform by yourself. So having the sales rep there dedicating like 15 minutes to go over this and train you, put a specific documents that they can get in the app. Like the, the main way for them to get a tax return, credit, whatever document, it's in the app. They have to go back to the app. The drone thing, I mean, it's amazing. I know it's, it might be hard for some companies to do with all the technology, but pictures, you know, exactly. pictures, great pictures. I'm pretty sure you take great pictures to put it in your website or exactly. to put it in your social media. Share those with your customers and make them share this in social media. We do have social sharing. Exactly. So take advantage of it. Also, make your referral link, if you're a sales rep, available in your social media, in your email signature, in your flyers, whatever you're promoting out there, use your advocate link in there too to get more advocates. And... Um, and again, it's all about the customer experience. And it's a, it's, a, it's a change of mindset for your sales rep because this is not here in the part that we're talking, but he said that it's hard. Some sales rep will say, but why I'm going back to some, someone that I already sold? Because you're nurturing them to give you more business. That's the change that you need to really train your sales rep to understand. By nurturing your current customers, you're building your future customer base through referrals. And he pointed out something that it's very important, the review piece of it. So like you ask for the review because reviews in this industry are important as well as referrals. You need to have that source of true. You need to have that, that proof that it really works, that they are a reliable company and reviews are very important. So you can also manage that through the platform and have this interaction with your customers to have the review as well. So I love it. They're being very successful. All of these customers, they have around like 80% of their business, 70, 80% of their business coming from referrals. And they spend much less than other source by like buying leads or like just the pure door knocking. So they are investing in the future. You know, they're building their, their customer base for the future. Yeah. Thank you for mentioning the review portal. I did not include that on the slide, but that is obviously one of our amazing features. We have so many, it's uh, it's hard to highlight them all, but yes, that's an important component as well. And I love what you said about, um, you know, keeping the, the sales team engaged and, and that change of mindset about going back and nurturing those customers, because what it does is it really does eventually build the sales reps pipeline with steady, solid, warm leads. So that's yeah. the thing that they need to understand. We know um, based upon our data that gen for generally referrals convert at about 50, 60%, right? So that's much better than some of the leads that they're getting anyway. So if the sales reps can realize what the value of their time in doing that extra step in nurturing and helping them understand, uh, the customers understand how to work the app, how to send those referrals, then it's time well spent. So, yeah, and also for the sales reps, um, they need to understand that those leads that they are signing up, like those customers that they are signing up, they're they're their customers. So one thing that we notice, like when we are in trade shows and we, we talk to people, they're like, "Yeah, I work a lot of out of word of mouth." Okay, so this is beneficial for your company because if I am a customer of Michaela. I'm happy with Michaela's job and the project. I want to refer Michaela's company and I don't have a, a direct communication with her. I'm going to call the office and I'm going to say, okay, um, I was referred by a friend um, or if I'm referring someone and then the referral calls and it's like, I was referred to work with you guys. Not necessarily people will mention that Michaela was the sales rep. So the exactly. referral goes to another sales rep. So you're losing your opportunity. But if you have a straight 
uh, direct communication, those leads are your, it's, it's your leads. You're going to work them. So the sales rep, they need to understand the power of having their own network. And they're going to do this through the app, through the referral program. Yeah. And I would love to add also that that is part of what our customer success team does for our customer's sales team during the sales training. So they are not on their own in trying to understand all of these components. Um, in any event, we are we are having such a great conversation. We're, we're running behind on time. We're getting a little okay. close. To so let's dive into the third tip. The third success strategy is match the incentive with the desired outcome. Now, this is this is a great one because you need to identify, prioritize, and then incentivize the most important stages in your buyer's journey with rewards, referral rewards, ideally. Um, but we have, you know, some of our customers are being really, really creative with this. But let's just say the main ones are completing a first appointment, signing a contract, making that first payment. These are all super important stages in most businesses. And these can be these milestones that you can match with a reward to make sure that your referrals make it through the entire process and get to the point of sale. So I'm going to share another clip here. And this is from one of our, um, our last clip, from one of our successful customers, Evergreen Roofing and Solar. And Barbara asked them how they use incentives and rewards to reach their goals and how their referral program is structured. So let's watch and see what they have to say. We get them to download the app and like sign up as an advocate because if they um, if they're signed up as an advocate, they get free two two sheets of wood for their build, which is like two hundred dollars in addition to you know any referrals that they would get. And then um, we actually have monthly contests on like whoever signs up the most um, or sends in the most referral, they get five hundred dollars that month. And we have a little Zoom meeting for that just to kind of keep everyone together and involved. Yeah, we have two, two status, right? Verified and, and sold. sold. We pay $25 when the job gets approved. So when we do the inspection, the roof inspection, they, uh, sign, a contract. they sign a contract, we pay, pay $25. When we get the first check from that customer, it's when we pay the $325. And also, we also, we play the 300 plus, right? When oh, for every five. For every five. Excellent. Okay, so Andres and the Evergreen team are doing something with GTR that we do really well, and that is the referral and reward piece. The referral component of our platform is designed to do exactly this. We match the referral reward triggers to the milestones that mean the most to your business. This is one of the things that you discuss and set up with your customer success team during the implementation and onboarding process. It's so critical that the referral component is, is the big, big piece in our platform. What more can you tell us, Barbara, about this, this success strategy? Yeah, what I love about Evergreen is that, as you mentioned, we usually have these two stages um, um, verified and sold they go one step ahead and again going back to the fact that they want everybody to download the app so they offer something for them to download the app this is this is so powerful and this is something that it's not going to be heavy on them to give this little gift it's really going to boost people like intention to download the app and then again once they download the app it all starts the competition, the little contest to have more referrals on a monthly basis. I love that. You can go, you can go very creative and do like holiday contests and you can do like the, you can play around with the bonuses that it's something already embedded in our, in our, um, in our system. So if they, <clears throat> if they uh, refer through three people that are sold, they're going to get an extra one. So all these things really, really help the program to be more active and more engaging. Um, really, really, really love their idea. And um, they're, they're, they're very successful. They went from, I don't remember the, the number, but they went for, I would say like 30% referrals up to like 80% right now. Yeah. So it's amazing, amazing. Yeah. 
And I think one of the things we talked about too, Barbara, was the importance of sending that email in the very beginning when someone launches their referral program and they have their app ready to go. One of the easiest first steps that they can do is send out an email invite to all of your customers to download the app and tell them about the referral program. Exactly. That's just super simple. Exactly. Then, exactly. Okay. That was our third strategy, but I have a little surprise for you. And I know we're running out of time. Stick with us, please. I promise you will not be sorry. I have a bonus tip. Yeah, I know. Exciting. <laughs> Uh, this bonus tip is so important, and you and you probably heard a little bit of this in each of the videos that we shared with you today. This is a, a key strategy that is very important, and getting the buy-in from your sales reps, involving your sales team early in the process of your referral program launch is critical. It's really important for them to understand the value from their perspective of how it helps them. Like Barbara said, sometimes they're wondering, why do I, have, why do I need an, a, an app visit when I wanna be talking to new prospects? Um, and helping them understand why the referral program is so key to the business and their commissions as well. You know, all of that is critical. Um, and from your experience, one thing that more than one uh, customer told us is that Sometimes it's hard to get the adoption, but once you have one or two sales reps that decide to adopt and they start being successful, oh my God, then all the others are like, what is he doing? Like, why is, why is he getting more sales? Why is he getting I more do that too. And that's like, that's really what pushes usually the whole team to do it. It's having one case of success. One, yeah, one rock star. sales rep, it's really like, really bad to the program and really want to make it work. And that's one thing. And obviously, if you can, that's something that we strongly recommend to have a referral champion in your company. I know yeah. that sometimes your company is small, you're, you're, you, you're wearing a lot of hats, it's hard, but like the referral champion, it's really, it's almost, I would say mandatory, you know, because this person will have in their like role and their daily, in their daily routine, the um the the responsibility of making the referral program work so yes. training the sales rep managing the referrals sending the push notifications working with our team in terms of training um setting up the the special campaigns and the contests it's 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 really important to have that person playing that role uh, that is one of the key uh success uh, factors uh, for the customers, for sure. And then use incentives to keep the sales rep motivated. So you can do internal contests, whoever gets, uh, after launching your product, your project, your, your referral program, um, whoever gets the most, uh, advocates in the first month or quarter, it's going to get a special bonus or whoever gets the most, uh, referrals, same thing. This is like, we know that sales rep, they, they, the sales reps, they work out of compensation, money, gratification, those, this gaming thing. So really important to play that in your program. Yeah, no, I agree. Everything you said, it's super important with the sales reps, everything comes together with GTR. And when you explain and do fully get everything, all the little components set up. There's so many different creative ideas that you'll come up with, just like the ones our customers have come up with, just like the ones we've shared today. Uh, and, and, you know, you, our system is not plug and play, but once you get the components in place, the power is massive. Um, okay, we've shared all our tips. It's time for a little Q&A. So I am going to see, we have, a, it looks like we have one question here and then another one that someone sent in before. So I'm going to start with this first question. Is there an additional cost to use project stages? Uh, so our packages um, have CRM integration for you to use, utilize the project stages. You need to have your CRM integrated and it's included in our packages. Um, we, we have different packages that will serve to different sorts of integrations. But I would say that for that project status, that project stage, basic integration, I think that you're covered. Excellent. All right, I'm looking here to see if there are 
It looks like there is a question in here about something regarding the affiliate, affiliate program, and it's a long one. So, John, if, if you're still on, I'm going to email you directly and see if I can dig into that with you. Um, I do have another question here that was sent in also that is asking, is there anything that sets the larger companies that are successful with GTR apart from the smaller successful companies? Which is an interesting question. And mm -hmm. I want to take this one because this is one of the questions that appears on one of the downloads that we have for you today. Uh, we have a, an ebook from our customer success team lead here at GTR. His name is Chad Etchison. He's amazing. Um, and he answered this question for us. And so I'm going to direct you to the download for all the details on that. Um, and then it looks like someone popped in another quick question before we sign off here. Let me see if I can get that one up for us as well. Let's see. I think it's about the review portal. What is yeah. the difference between the review portal the and the portal right of review? Off. Yeah. Do you want to take that one? Yeah. So basically the review portal is the ability for you to manage your Google referrals through the dashboard. So you get notified when someone uh, writes a review in your Google portal, and then you can reply directly from it. And you can also try to manage the bad reviews in a way like I would say like in a in a in it, you can have a conversation about that refer, about that review and try to get the person like try to fix the problem and have a better resolution of the issue so that the review will be reflected in a, in a more positive way. Um, so basically write a review it's embedded in the app people can get there they can write a review from the app review portal you get the ability to see that in your dashboard and also see like um user reviews that you get from google in the dashboard and manage that uh through the dashboard to cut to try to get a resolution and an improvement of your review uh in a private environment i would say that fantastic thank you barbara all right, I think that is it. If we did not get to any of your questions, again, rest assured, I will reach out to you via email directly. Um, and, and that goes with, hopefully goes without saying that if you have any questions, if you are a GTR customer, please feel free to reach out to your customer success manager. They are more than willing to help you. They are there to guarantee your success and they would love to hear from you. All right, everybody, we are going to call it. Thank you so much for your attendance and participation today. Barbara, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your It's so nice. Yes, I love having you on. You have so much experience and expertise. It is a pleasure. And thank you to MHI Roofing, Zuna Solar, and Evergreen Roofing and Solar for being amazing customers and taking the time to uh, sit with us. And for that, for who asked if the recording will be available, it will be automatically sent to you tomorrow. So keep a lookout for that email. We appreciate your time today. We hope you found value in what we shared with you. We will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye. Bye for now.